Hey, everybody. Hey. Sorry we're late. It's been a little bit of a crazy morning, but in a good way. Yeah. For uh, for those who don't know, we are uh, live on Kickstarter now with the Sorcerer and Bringer uh, uh, Kickstarter. So we uh, were, of course, setting that up and answering uh, questions. And um, we've had uh, insane response. So um, we're already like posting up stretch goals. Um, we um, I'm not sure in the last few minutes we probably unlocked one. So uh, we'll I'll I'll uh, post those updates after this uh, Kickstarter or after this uh, Facebook Live is done. Yeah, people won't want us want will want us to wrap this up. So <laughs> see the next stretch goal, and we'll probably get a lot of comments as well. So we had a few things prepared to just kind of go over the highlights of the Kickstarter. So for anyone that hadn't seen the Kickstarter yet, just to let you know, and if you yes. have questions about any of these, we want to answer them. So this is so this new uh, Kickstarter features um, uh, Sorcerer and Bringer, which is an expansion that allows for solo and co-op play uh, for Sorcerer. Um, and it also has six new packs, uh, two new characters, two new lineages, and two new domains for Sorcerer for building your uh, your own Sorcerer. Um, and uh, like the original Sorcerer content, uh, the artwork in this is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, Peter Schultz, the um, uh, creator and lead designer for Sorcerer did an amazing job with all the, the flavor and the content uh, um, in all the packs and in the Endbringer stuff. Um, and so if you are an existing Sorcerer player, just awesome, awesome new content. I know it's been a long wait for you guys, but uh, um, work has never stopped since the last Kickstarter a couple of years ago. Um, Peter has been uh, has been working uh, you know, nonstop um, with uh, his artists and his play testers and, and uh, um, uh, lovingly crafting all this, uh, all this new content. Um, and, uh, so there's a lot of great, uh, stuff for you. And if you are in, uh, if you haven't played Sorcerer yet, um, we also have some really, uh, uh, really great, um, uh, deals for you. So, um, yeah, so basically we have the, uh, we have a new player tier, which will get you the, um, uh, Sorcerer, um, uh, base set, and the new uh, Endbringer uh, solo cooperative uh, uh, play. So this is uh, everything you need to play uh, two to four players in uh, PVP or the one to th uh, one to three player solo or co-op uh, mode. Um, so uh, this is really great deal um, for uh, players who are uh, who are new to Sorcerer. Um, if you are already uh, a sorcerer player, we've got uh, the uh, the new stuff here, which is really awesome. So you got uh, um, you've got the uh, uh, Endbringer set, and you can see there, sort of in the component spread at the top. So so much cool content uh, in there. Um, there are um, uh, a four 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 combination, just like the base game sorcerer has for creating your own character, uh, your own sorcerer. Endbringer has this four 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 for creating your nemesis, what you're playing against. So, uh, um, and uh, so you've got your um, uh, the man eater, the nemesis, the demigod that you're fighting against, uh, and those come with the uh, uh, these giant oversized. Sandy's, I'm gonna hop over to that just for a minute here. So basically these uh, are the four different demigods you can fight against. Um, so this is the equivalent of your uh, uh, sorcerer, your character pack in Sorcerer. Um, this would be your nemesis in the uh, the Endbringer. And these standees are huge. They're like you know, um, uh, significantly larger than the uh, regular player standees. And they actually sp span over two battlefields uh, at one time and give the, uh, and bring her all kinds of nasty bonuses in those uh, in those battlefields. Um, and uh, you've got a uh, a um, uh, aspect um, for each uh, uh, when you're creating your uh, nemesis. Um, so uh, 
Um, for example, the death dealer is one of the aspects and each aspect comes with a different army, a horde deck. So basically the, the nemesis you're playing against has a nemesis deck, which will give you mechanics during play. We covered that in our, our last Facebook live. So you can go back and check out that. Or, uh, we actually have a playthrough video on the Kickstarter page, um, which you, so you can watch, uh, watch the play, which is a you know, great way to see how it goes. Um, and so you got your nemesis deck, but you also have a horde deck that comes with uh, with your aspect. And so basically those two together give you a lot of uh, of uh, different feelings. You're fighting the different uh, 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 nemesis is because you'll have different uh, different cards that for the powers they're activating during the battle phase from the nemesis deck. And then um, the different army that you're battling against what their minions are from uh, the horde deck. And then finally you have a scenario uh, which uh, um, will give you special rules, special victory conditions, um, uh, and basically what the bad guy's trying to do and what you have to do to stop them. So that combination together um, gives you based on the mission you're playing and uh, that gives you uh, uh, 64 different combos uh, that you can uh, that you can play against. So the, the replayability, of course, like base set sorcerer, the replayability is absolutely insane. Um, let's see here. This one is, and then if you are new to sorcerer, but like, well, think, wow, this looks awesome. I want to get everything. We have uh, we have the all in tier, which is a, a fantastic deal and comes with basically everything from the first Kickstarter. So all the um, uh, Kickstarter exclusive content we unlock there, and um, and these uh, these Kickstarter extras um, we had unlocked a bunch of new characters uh, uh, and uh, domains in packs as uh, as stretch goals. Uh, um, and we have a, we had a Kickstarter exclusive lineage in the first uh, campaign. And these aren't like tacked on extras. Um, the, um, these packs are really beautifully designed. The artwork is incredible. The gameplay is super fun on uh, all these and unique uh, in each one. It feels super different when you're, uh, you know, when you're playing with these. And because of the way Sorcerer works, you get a skill card that's out all game for each. You get a skill card for your character pack, a skill card for your uh, lineage pack and a skill card for your domain pack. So um, all game things feel very different as you're playing when you have these uh, these new characters, lineages, and domains mixed in. Um, and uh, and it the, um, the so they add a ton uh, to the play, and they're, they're just really beautifully designed. So even with just the base set, you'll have tons of replayability. But with these extras, um, it's just you know rich, really beautiful. Um, anybody who backed the first Kickstarter can tell you about how cool those uh, you know, Kickstarter exclusive contents are. So you can get all the Kickstarter exclusive stuff from the first campaign, plus all the new stuff um, and extra player boards, et cetera, everything you need to play um, up to six players in the PVP or the one to three player um, uh, solo cooperative with, you know, basically every possibility, everything that exists in Sorcerer. And of course, all these stretch goal, all these, um, uh, these tiers will come with stretch goals from the new campaign. And, um, given our initial reaction, I think we're going to be unlocking quite a few of those. And, uh, um, and, uh, one of the reasons this campaign took us so long to have ready is, uh, um, we've been, uh, Peter's been working really hard on, uh, a lot of additional new content for those stretch goals. So you'll uh, you'll see some really cool stuff um, in uh, in the stretch goals uh, that uh, that we've been working on. Um, and uh, and as I said, the art is insane. I think we have. Do we have uh, Tetsu? The um, oh yes, yeah. So uh, which thank you everyone for unlocking this because I saw this art and I was like, <laughs> wow, I want this. <laughs> like, this should yeah, be so we have uh, Tetsu a new uh, a new she's a new uh, character pack. Um, uh, so there's a bunch of cards uh, in, involved in her pack, and uh, just like in the uh, original Sorcerer Kickstarter, we'll have unlocking various cards, and if, and once we unlock all of them, then um, then we get an, an entire pack. I just uh, love the art. <laughs> Yeah, she is. Another piece. Oh, she is awesome, and uh, and I. Uh, um, and we can post these, so I'll post these yeah. on um, 
we have some questions. We'll post these on the in the sorcerer group, the sorcerer discussion group. We can also post them. Uh, hey, uh, hi, it. Peter. I see Peter's in the comments, well. so uh, he's yeah. uh, Peter. Uh, maybe you could share a little bit about uh, Tatsu in the comments as well, if you if you. Yeah, want. we'll have uh, we'll have Laura about yeah, her Laura up about on her. the uh, uh, in an so, update coming. Uh, a couple coming questions. Soon. How many sleeves? So I don't think we know the answer to this, so we'll have to get that. So my, yeah, the um, we so we're gonna do a full count and we'll add, add to the running tally as we unlock stretch goals. Um, if you're getting everything, everything, I think it's going to be two of the three hundred count um, um, uh, things, uh, and, and you know maybe plus a little with the uh, as the stretch goals uh, unlock. So um basically there's been a, a lot of people asking for that in the comments section on the kickstarter and we're absolutely gonna do it it'll probably take me till tonight or tomorrow to get that data but basically what we'll, what we'll do is we'll add up everything uh for the um uh um you know that's in all the stuff and you know and basically have a tally of here's how many uh here's how many sleeves you need uh to uh you know to cover all the stuff uh, and so that, that'll be, we'll add it to the FAQ. As I said, my quick guess is two of the 300 counts. If you're getting everything, the one 300 count covers everything from the first sorcerer Kickstarter. Um, uh, and so I, th so basically probably a second one will get us through, um, uh, the, at least the majority of the content, uh, in, uh, in this one. Uh, but I'll, I'll have to do the, I'll have to do the math and, uh, Get there. There are more cards in um, uh, in Endbringer um, uh, um, because of the uh, um, you know there's just a lot of cool extra content we have in there um, than there was in the base set sorcerer. So maybe so it'll probably be a little bit more than one more 300 counter. I'll uh, I'll uh, you know we'll get that number and we'll put it up on the FAQ. Yeah, I think we should do a little spreadsheet so that people can look at which what they have and what they plan to get <laughs> yeah. and figure out what they need. Um, and then related to that, we've answered this in the past Facebook Live, but can everything fit into the base box? No, there? it cannot. Uh, basically, we, it, we're just adding too much cool but stuff. It all fits um, in the boxes. It, it, it all fits so. in the boxes. So basically, if you have the, if you have the base set sorcerer with the, you know, the, the big, you know, the big sorcerer box, um, everything from the first Kickstarter could fit in that. Um, it, the the box if you have everything everything with all the added um, uh, domains and stuff um, the box top doesn't go down a hundred percent it's almost boxed down basically things got a little bit thicker because we added these super high quality edges to the uh, to the to the all the boards um, which was awesome but it also made it so that they if you had every add on it. Uh, um, there was like a, it was up by about that much, oh, um, uh, races the, you know, box top. But, uh, um, but that said, we're going to have extra storage space in the, uh, Endbringer box set. Um, so between the two, you be able to snugly fit everything from, uh, from both, uh, Kickstarter. So the all in tier, everything, including stretch goals, everything we unlock, um, that will, will design the Endbringer box to with the, between that and the Sorcerer base set box hold all Sorcerer content. So if you have the two boxes, you'll be good to go with everything, everything. So John Backer number two wants to know if he can- So close, John. Almost. And she, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, we must have been waiting yeah. for it to go live. Um, wants to know if he can get not the base game, but other content, I'm assuming he's talking about the kit. So if you're looking for content that is not Kickstarter exclusive, you can get that on our on our web store, yep. which Katie so, will put the link here, but for the exclusive stuff, are you trying to make me completely insane? <laughs> uh, that's a very the, complex the add -ons, problem. Uh, the, so basically you can add on anything Sorcerer in, uh, so if you look over to the add-on section on the, on the Kickstarter page, just scroll down, you'll see all the various, uh, Thing. So if you let's say you bought the base game and uh, and the uh, and the three packs that were available, but you missed the Kickstarter exclusives from the first Kickstarter, and you're getting the new stuff tier, just do just when you pledge, just do the new stuff tier, and then you can add to your pledge 
whatever individual things that you want. So maybe you missed, you know, just a few uh, Kickstarter exclusive packs, um, or you, you know, or you want specific ones. Um, you can go through uh, and uh, and add those to your uh, to your pledge. Well, he was at, he was also asking me if he could then have any of the new stuff that's available now shipped to him and wave. <laughs> that's why I'm saying. Oh, boy. Trying to make okay. Insane. Um, so that's, we'll, I'm not we'll sure. Discuss, we'll, we'll look at we'll that. We'll see. Yeah. Um, yeah, we need to discuss that. We need to just better understand the logistics of how so, the pledge manager is going to work for that. Yeah. But so the, the logistics of a Kickstarter campaign, <laughs> um, delivery are, uh, you know, are, are, are pretty impressive, you know, pretty hard. Uh, basically you have thousands, you know, sometimes tens of thousands of people, all over the world. Um, and uh, so we've got to coordinate with factories and shipping, uh, you know, uh, fulfillment centers uh, worldwide, get stuff into locations and then uh, ship it out. So basically, uh, um, uh, you things can it can be a little bit uh, a little bit tricky uh, to say the least, and uh, Debbie leads that process. Things so. can get lost. Things yeah. cannot get delivered. Um, you know, and sometimes so we have to send extra inventory, but always one particular item gets lost in the mail more than others. And like, so getting the right inventory around the world is not trivial. So basically the doing a double wave for people who are not doing the, that. so we made a yeah. special tier for doing a, doing a double shipment. So basically if you are new to Sorcerer, you're like, oh man, this looks amazing. I want to get everything. And, but I don't want to wait to, to play, uh, to, you know, to get the old content. We have the special, um, a limited quantity all in tier, um, uh, that's, uh, the Sorcerer Now tier, which gets you everything and the stuff that we have currently available, um, you know, in our warehouse, we're shipping out, uh, we're shipping out now and the, and then the new stuff, um, uh, you know, uh, we will ship out when, when, you know, in, a year from now when that's, uh, you know, when all that's, uh, shipping. So, um, uh, so yes, that's, yeah. uh, um, that's a, uh, uh, so that's, that's so we what we have, have available, but we don't have it for, but you know, it, we can, so we don't have that for the individual items. And the reason for that is the logistical difficulty in, uh, in, in pulling off that, uh, you know, that plus it, it's a limited quantity issue. So the reason that that tier is limited is we, we have a finite number of stuff available now to ship out, which we've slotted for the uh, for the everything uh, you know everything now uh, um, uh, tier. So we'll basically we'll look at it, but um, you know can't make any promises on that one. Peter wants to know if I screamed when we reached the goal in under an hour. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I already had lost my voice before. Then. <laughs> it's like staying up late, getting yeah. up early, trying to get everything done. Um, so, but yeah, but yeah I it was is super excited, yeah. and we were like so happy because yeah. you know I, Peter knows I love sorcerer, I love the art. It's just like yeah. it's always I've always just really adored the art, and so I. I'm always, and anytime you launch a Kickstarter, I always a little nervous. How's it going to go? We don't yeah. know. And you, so we were super excited that yeah. it was, you know, it's going really well. <laughs> so thank you everyone. And, and I wanted Tatsu. Yes. Is that how you say the name? Yeah. Um, so let's see, I think, oh, there was a question about Mexico. So we, there's a few countries that we do not ship to. I don't know off the top of my head if Mexico is one of those, but it's in the shipping section. Do you recall? Uh, you I, there's a, there's, the if you go, if you scroll down the page, the countries that we do not ship to are listed. Um, in the and, shipping section. and shipping prices will vary. And some, sometimes you're like, get people like, oh my God, why is it so expensive to ship to our particular country and basically that is reflected in uh the fulfillment cost it will cost to cost us to ship there um some countries are uh, have particularly high shipping rates uh primarily because the uh the failure rate in shipping is high like like packages just literally disappear when they get there and don't basically they get to the country and get injected into the system there, but then they mysteriously vanish before they get to the backer, and then we end up having to reship. So basically, averaging those costs in, et cetera. So um, you know, I apologize it's, that it's expensive to get to some locations, but uh, yes, um, and I just confirmed by looking at the page that 
in Mexico isn't on a, so we have a few countries that we just have so much failure in that when we ship stuff, it doesn't get delivered and, or over and over and over um, such that we, it's gotten to the point where we don't ship, but Mexico is not on that list. It's just a handful of countries. Um, so Mexico would be in rest of world. Uh, and the reason why it is more expensive is because we do have some things not being delivered in Mexico, that is an issue. Yeah, so the, the that's why I wasn't sure if it was on the list or not. The only countries we aren't delivering to are uh, are Afghanistan, Brazil, uh, Kazakhstan, and Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan uh, Russia, and Ukraine. Um, and if you are in one of those countries and you really want the stuff, you'd have to just arrange a freight forwarder in the uh, in the U.S. So we can deliver to a freight forwarder for you. Um, you just put that as you know as your you know basically you'd be you'd be paying U.S. shipping and ship to you know ship to whatever freight forwarder you wanted to use and then they'd be responsible from there to getting it you know getting it to uh to you yeah and just another comment on the shipping costs like we're not like making money on the shipping costs i know you maybe you look at this and it's like wow these are high shipping costs that actually like the shipping costs and the fulfillment costs have gone up and up and up since the beginning when we started doing kickstarter yeah. so where we actually get estimates from our fulfillment partners to put together these ranges. Yeah, and all the time we're absorbing extra costs. So, for example, with uh, Kickstarter, we're fulfilling right uh, right now. Um, they basically do the COVID situation. It co it suddenly cost extra to get stuff uh, uh, delivered in a timely fashion to uh, to like our backers in the EU. And so our fulfillment center in the UK was like, well, what do you want us to do? And we're like, yep, go ahead and ship it now. Just pay the extra cost. We absorb those. So the backers didn't see it. But uh, but um, so, yeah, it's the uh, the shipping costs basically just reflect the cost that uh, uh, that we that we have to pay to get the get the items into your hands. Um, and we try and keep it as not the cost. It's less. Yeah, it's, it's less, less than the than cost. cost. You, look at it, you probably think, oh, you're making money. No, it's actually yeah. lower. It's in many cases subsidized. So I just. Yeah. yeah. And we uh, and basically we work super hard to, uh, you know, stay within those uh, those estimated range. So if it if it goes above the estimated range, we just absorb the extra, uh, you know, the extra cost to, you know, to get it to you. Mark would really like to see you post three or four stretch goals at a time. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm sure when I get off this uh, Facebook Live, I'll have multiple stretch goals to uh, 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 the post. Um, but, uh, so yeah, we'll look at, uh, I'm not sure how many we're going to post at once right now. I was just doing, uh, doing one, but, uh, but yeah, we might, uh, we might have that. Yeah. Thank you everyone for the congrats. It looks like we don't have any other questions. And I know that you do have a lot of questions yeah. over on the Kickstarter page. So I have people also messaging me on Facebook with suggestions. I think we've answered. Yeah, and uh, and the you know there's um uh like I said there's a playthrough video on the Kickstarter page for the new Endbringer stuff and there's tons of videos uh lower down with uh yeah. you know, base game sorcerer play uh so you can check those out to sort of um see people playing um and uh, uh oh, the dividers that was another question dividers yeah. will yeah. there be dividers so basically um just like in the sorcerer base game uh we've got uh, dividers for sections in the source for base game. So it comes with these, you know, like a, a divider for characters, lineages, and domains. Um, uh, and Endbringer will have a similar way to sort the um, the uh, uh, the categories of decks. Um, we've had a lot of suggestions for, hey, could you make super sweet dividers, one for every character, every lineage, every domain? Um, that's something we're looking into as a possible add-on. Um, uh, um, uh, as, uh, you know, something that might be, able, you might be able to purchase to, if you want to like, you know, have the really, really nice, like plastic dividers like we did for the, um, uh, uh, the star realms, universal storage box or the hero realms or, uh, epic, uh, storage boxes. So, um, so yeah, that's something we're looking into. Mark also thinks you should post more than one stretch goal. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, anyway, uh, so damage dial, can you speak to the score dial really quick? Oh yeah. So basically, um, uh, we've got, uh, um, we're actually getting, uh, prototype score dials made right now cause they were part of the, uh, star realms. Um, uh, uh, we had a awesome Kickstarter for the deluxe, uh, foil Nova collection, uh, for, Star Realms that includes score dials. So we're we're having uh, uh, prototype score dials made right now, and they're going to be about that big and the double dial. 
uh, with nice artwork and uh, et cetera. So um, those are for Star Realms, but we're going to be using the same, you know, printing technique, et cetera, for these. So um, uh, so basically, nice big score dial for tracking uh, your score in the game. So in Endbringer, in the base sorcerer, you're not uh, hitting your opponent directly. You're battling over, you're fighting over battlefields, and any damage done either goes to the minions or to the battlefields themselves. In Endbringer, you're in a fight to the death with, the, with, the, with this demigod, and damage doesn't go to the battlefields. Instead, it'll go to your personal defense or your group defense if you're if you're playing as a as a cooperative mode um uh so there's a score dial included and that'll be you know a, a nice sizable dial with you know uh two uh two rotating uh uh um discs and it's gonna basically like you can expect high quality like all our sorcerer components um so if you own the sorcerer base game you, you know you know the the boards and the dice and the cards, everything's really, really nice, high quality. We're of course going to be going for the same kind of quality on the on the dial. So it's not going to be a chintzy little one. It'll be a you know nice feel, feel nice in your hands, look pretty. That's you know that's the the, the quality that we're going to match with our existing sorcerer stuff. So you can expect that from all the content on the Endbanger Kickstarter. Uh, one of the reasons why our you know why we put our fulfillment dates so far back uh is we're really perfectionist we go back and forth with the printer and try and get things you know uh really just right um and so um you know it, it sometimes takes a little extra time for us to deliver on uh with the kickstarters but you know we really really try hard to make that uh um that content as you know as nice as we can so on the sleeves, so some people are asking, will it be the same sleeve? So for like the additional packs for making your sorcerer, it'll be the same sleeves. They have the same card back as our existing packs. Yeah. Can you talk to sleeves for the boss, for the large cards? Yeah. So basically we're going to, we, we'll have just, so my recommendation is that you, um, you for sorcerer, you either use the, um, the base sorcerer sleeves, which, you know, have the, the, uh, standard uh, card back, um, or in some cases using clear sleeves, um, which um, you know we can make available as an add-on, uh, and those are great for things like your skill cards, anything that's like you know got double, si you know like uh, double-sided or uh, or what uh, or whatnot. But basically, the uh, for the uh, for the horde deck and for the nemesis deck, we just recommend using the the standard uh, sorcerer sleeves, uh, you know, for those guys. Uh, so um, uh, those, so basically, those will be able. They're all um, uh, they all fit, uh, you know, into the regular standard sleeves. Now, there's oversized cards for the for the end bringer itself and the, you know for the uh for the nemesis for the whole uh for the uh, uh archetype and for the scenario um those you don't you really don't need sleeves for because they just you just don't shuffle them you take them out set them on the table so they uh they don't get the uh the wear and tear um you can find out their oversized card sleeves for those who you know who really want them we probably won't have them on the page because um, you, you know, uh, I think for 90% of players, you just, you just don't need them there. You know, you're not going to be shuffling those cards. So, so, uh, someone asked if Daniel, if you can buy additional tiers. So yes, uh, basically yep. the way you would do that is on the Kickstarter, you choose your tier. If you want to contribute towards stretch goals, you would add up what additional tiers and add-ons you want to buy. And you pledge that additional amount as well. And then when you get the pledge manager, we always have a, the tiers themselves yeah. as add-ons. So you can add additional tiers and then we also like adjust shipping. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's a great way to save on uh, on shipping. If you want to, if you like team up with some friends, we can, you know, all, you know, throw it in together uh, and, uh, um, and that'll reduce your shipping costs uh, down. So yeah, basically you can, you can do multiple tiers. Uh, um, and of course each tier will come with, uh, with the stretch goals. We have a couple people that said Star Realms rocks. Yes, um, <laughs> yeah, we, we love Star Realms. Yeah, we agree. And uh, Dustin wanted to know if you have any updates on High Alert. Yeah, so um, I think we just did an update to the Kickstarter yes. page, but basically um, with the um, with the uh, Epic um, uh, Jungle Kickstarter content and High Alert. Um, that, uh, is all in the, we are waiting on the samples from the printer stage. So basically we've been going back this last month, uh, 
um, uh, uh, Randy Delvin, our lead graphic designer, has been going back and forth with the printer, um, you know, tweaking the tweaking the digital files and making everything so just so. Uh, uh, Adam uh, Lekmanski has been working super hard on that stuff as well. Um, and so, um, so basically, um, uh, we're, you know, getting files into the printer and going back and going back and forth with those files, making sure they're, you know, they're just right. And we have a whole bunch of stuff where the printer is working on, uh, on the uh, prototype for us. So basically, we get it, look it over. If it looks good, we approve it. And, uh, and you know, and then it's, uh, you know, and then they basically press go on the printing the bazillionty copies for everybody. So, um, so that's where we're at. Um, um, so, uh, uh, knock on wood, hopefully we'll, we'll have the, the, the last stage of that done, uh, shortly. And of course we'll update that, that Kickstarter as it goes. Any chance of a man eater in the stretch goals? Um, well, we'll, we'll <laughs> see. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I also just wanted to comment something for any Hero Realms fans we have out there. So one thing that we have been looking at is the ability to print like small batches of cards so that we can have Hero Realms promo cards. If you come see us at conventions, we always have different Star Realms cards. Everyone always is looking for Hero Realms cards. So uh, these are looking pretty good. Randy ordered these for me and he's dying to see them as yeah. well. Um, you know, we'll probably tweak them a little bit, but I'm hopeful that we will, when conventions start up again, ha be able to yeah. have Hero Realms promo cards. And, and oh, yeah, Mandy and Jeremy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this was Rob Gruber. He was a legend. Um, and sorry, I don't know how to hold this up to the camera right. And he is a retailer and he really wanted to get some individual cards of his for his retail store. So we wanted to help him out. So we wanted to test to see if we could, and I've been wanting to do promo cards, so that's Rob's card, so I'm gonna be able to send him some of those, which is exciting. And then these were our alt art cards that we, <laughs> I just have no idea what I'm doing. These were a couple alt art cards that we're gonna be um, putting into Hero Realms uh, in the future when we reprint, but we're also going to make these available as promo cards for people who already have the base game. And these were based on people in the community. So um, Mandy Hutchinson, who is part of the Dice Tower and has been doing reviews and content forever, and Jeremy Howard, who is an awesome content creator, and he looks so incredible there in his armor. Um, he, he does uh, a lot of solo over in the solo board gaming group, and uh, he does, he also sometimes live streams with his son playing games. He is part of Man vs. Meeple. Yeah. So if you, if you don't know those two people, but yes, yeah, so we, uh, we're, I'm excited. Yeah. I hope other people are excited too, that we will eventually have more Hero Realms hey. promo cards. <laughs> um, uh, so. Um, Thank you, John. <laughs> So I think those are, so I think Rob needs to get back yeah, I need to, to answering back questions. Yeah, I need to jump back onto the Kickstarter page. So. <laughs> right there. so yeah, I'm gonna hop back over to the comment section on the Kickstarter. So if you have any uh, questions, you can always uh, post them in there. I try and keep up with all the comments on the Kickstarter, uh, but uh, you know, there's a lot. So you know, I'll be I'll be delving through those. Um, thank you very much, yeah, everybody. Thank you so much. Yeah. You've made us very happy we, like i said we we really love we work really hard to make our games and we love to see that people are as excited about them as we are when we uh launch yeah great to see thank you so much everybody and uh and i know peter uh um was uh super excited uh as well and was you know and, uh so thank you from us and thank you from peter um uh you, you know thanks so much okay.